Hey there guys, this is Pharaoh 2091 and welcome back to Let's Play Blackwell Convergence. Last time we left off, we tried learning a little bit more about the Countess and Claude's paintings, one of them being the Dark Lady. And we checked out the, the Roosevelt Island lighthouse, nothing really was there. Spoke to Claude and uh, we learned a little bit more about Joe Gould and also Joseph Mitchell. Uh, he uh, got brought up again. And it seems like he wrote about Joe Gould, so I was like, oh, I think we know what happened to him. And uh, we also learned a little bit more about the Melcher Foundation, those two brothers who uh, like are private, invest uh, private investors. And thanks to us eavesdropping, we got his B-mail uh, password. So it's time to snoop into his uh, email account. So why the hell not? Actually, shoot, I... What was the thing? It was Paul M, right? Let me just make sure. Yeah, Paul M at B-mail. Okay, good. Let's uh, log in. Why the hell not? So, uh, Paul M and B Milak. The hell? Let me try just Paul. There we go. Sometimes it, when you log into places, sometimes they want your full email address. That, that includes the at portion, but I guess since we're on B Mail, I guess it doesn't make sense to put at B Mail, but whatever. So, got that. And then 10 is 53, I believe. Nice. Okay. So. Uh, got some got stuff from Charles, a lot of them actually, and a couple from Josie. So, let's read. Uh, Hi Paul, just a quick letter to let you know that everything is going great. Our new artist is fantastic and I can't wait for the opening tomorrow. You will come, won't you? After all, you made this possible. Josie Park. Paul, I'm going to be out of the office next week to meet you, to meet with the sh Charming wi Widow? Shit. Yeah, Charming Widow, right? Could you do me a favor and check my email when I'm away? If I get anything important, get if I get anything important, give me a shout. Paul, what do you mean you don't remember my password? I picked it spe specifically so both you and I will remember it. I'm gonna drag you screaming into the digital age if it kills me. We're gonna find out a password. For all your software and networking needs, contact Tomo. <laughs> don't be silly, Paul. Of course you can talk to artists. It's not hard. If you're nervous, just Google artist. It will tell you everything you need to know. Okay. Paul, the password is that silly name you called me when we were kids. If you forgot, I'm sure as heck I'm not going to remind you. Silly name. How the hell are we supposed to figure that out? I might want to learn more about that. I picked it specifically so you both of you and I remember. I'm going to drag it. Is there like a... Hmm. Well, I need to get the Charles thing now. Maybe I gotta go back and eavesdrop. Just maybe. Um, let's go ahead and Google artists for the hell of it. What not to say to an artist? This painting is good. Be more thoughtful. Tell the artist why it's, why it is so why it is pro provocative to you personally. What is it? Not all art has to be a something spe specific. Tell the artist what you think it represents. I like the colors. Yours is a subjective opinion. Ask the artist why the color choices were made. Many viewers are tactless when it comes to an artist's work. I hope this will help you to avoid many of the pitfalls. Good luck. Okay, well let's something um why were the colors given it doesn't have to be subjective what do you think it represents why is it productive okay now let's try something charles m i'm just gonna go ahead and just say tomo damn okay let's actually look up tomo for i don't know if it means anything Tomo is an illusion. Tomo does not exist. You cannot find Tomo. You will fo fail but before you can try. What the hell? Okay. But I gotta find out Charles' password. What can it be? I think I got. I might have to eavesdrop again. Hey, are you done with that thing? It's getting kind of late. If you want to catch Claude at the gallery, we'd better head over. Okay. I, Come on, let's get going. Right. I guess he's uh going to we're going to the gallery now. Is Nishanti coming? Maybe we should check on her. Nishanti. 
She's not. She has been home for like days now, or for a long time. It's, I don't think long, too long, too long has passed. Can I go anywhere else before to the gallery? Yep, he's not there anymore. Okay, let's just go to the gallery then. Screw it. There's a man here. Let's talk to him. I don't need to talk to. Okay, fine. That just totally okay. He's really studying that glass of wine. Hmm. Wait, is that a man too? He seems to really. Okay. So, the, oh, there's Nishanti. And look, people are people are admiring the work. He seems pretty. So I, I think Josie's and, and Claude are. I think they're happy. Hopefully. Hi, Nishanti. Rosa, you came for the opening. Oh yes, I did. That's why I'm here. Good. It's so nice to see you out and about. Yeah, out and about. That's us. I oh, wonderful. That story is fascinating, isn't it? It certainly came in useful. You'll show me your story when it's done? You call those things stories? Shh! Hmm? I mean, sure, I'll show you. I'd be glad to. Smooth. Do you know anything about Claude Erden? Kind of enigmatic, isn't he? He's hardly said a word to anyone all night. Of course, I think he's had a bit too many, if you get my meaning. What do you think of that painting, The Dark Lady? It stands out, certainly. I don't know who the woman is, but she looks familiar. Really? I can't put my finger on who, but that expression. Such a feeling of frustration and loss. But maybe that's the idea. The frustration and loss that we all feel sometimes. Very deep. Maybe. I'm going to look around some more. Of course, go and mingle. Don't let me keep you. All right. Now, yeah, I guess now I just go ahead and talk to what's her what's her name? Josie and Claude. But real quick, I just want to see something. Uh, I don't know. I'm like stuck on trying to get that nickname for Charles there, but uh, I think maybe we'll get it here somewhere. I don't know. Maybe I gotta go back and eavesdrop some more. Hi, Josie. Hi, Rosangela. Are you having a good time? Great. We'll talk later. Well, that was quick. All right, Claude, your turn. Claude? Hey, you came. You're drunk. Very much so. We need to talk about the Countess. Who? The Dark Lady. I don't talk about her. So you do know her. Don't try to understand my work. I haven't met a single person who really understands art. Not one. Maybe this is where my... What was it called? Oogle? Oogling skills? I was gonna say my Googling skills or Oogling skills. Uh, my internet research comes into play here for understanding art. Who says I don't understand art? Hmm. You understand my work? Alright. Tell me what you think of this painting behind me. Hmm. Maybe the... I guess they're provocative. Maybe. I think that's the best thing I can pick here. The hard lines in this painting are really provocative. You think so, huh? Oh, yes. The hard lines against a soft world. Really? Excuse me. Did I mess up there? Really bold line. Yep, yeah, maybe you didn't want to talk to me there. So, Claude. What do you think of this painting here? Oh, okay. So, it's like, uh... Is he testing us here? No. So yeah, I guess it represent darkness and shadow. Does this painting represent darkness and shadow? It could. Is that what it feels like to you? Sure. Then it does. Excuse me. I love how he's testing us here. Come on. We know stuff. We looked it up at Oogle, I think, or whatever it's called. Claude, we really need to talk about... What do you think of this painting here? Uh, why the colors? Why is one side so colorful and the other so dark? Well, look at it. The darkness is eating away the color, overwhelming it. That's a bit bleak. It's a bleak world. Can I be forward? Forward? It's been a great pleasure talking to you. Really? Yes. Very refreshing. You seem to have a greater understanding of art than most of the rabble here. I do? Listen, Rosangela, was it? Oh, call me Rosa. Rosa, I'm suffocating in here. I need a breath of fresh air. Come meet me out on the fire escape. We can talk more in private. Hey, way to go. 
Claude, where are you going? To some fresh air, Joes. I'll be back. No worries. Ha, art medium. Nice. Maybe I, I got that achievement for doing it one go. That could be it. But in any case, let's go ahead and just uh, go to the fire exit and speak to him a little bit more. Especially about that dark lady. Oh, the music kind of changed a little bit. We need to talk about the Countess. Yes. She's so sad and angry. I wonder why. Why is she sad? She's looking for something she lost. Yeah, her mind. It consumes her every thought. Why is she so angry? I don't know. I wish I did. I think she's being forced against her will. Being turned into something she shouldn't be. Like what? I don't know. How do you know her? I see her in my dreams. She's looking for me. She hasn't found me yet, but I'm hoping my painting will help. You want her to find you? Yes. She's trapped and looking to escape. She needs me to help her. She's chosen me. Oh, I get it. He's the chosen one. Why don't we ever meet anyone sane? Why did she choose you? Because of my work. She's dead, I think, but she will live through my work. Artists. Nuts. All of them. Claude, the Countess is dangerous. Dangerous? No. She's lost and angry, but not dangerous. I've met her. She's killed many times. You? Why would she seek you? You're not an artist. No, but I've still seen her. She's powerful. Power you don't want to mess with. I just want to help her. Hey, pal, helping ghosts is our turf. Just be careful, okay? Careful? Just who are you? How do you know so much about my dreams? I'm... well, I know things. Know things? Like what? That you're messing with stuff you don't understand. And you do? Well, I I'm working on it. <sighs> All right. Teach me. I need to know. Don't look at me, kid. Look, there's something about me. I shouldn't tell you, but you're in danger. What is it? Look out! No! No! No, you didn't! Claude! Suicide. Well, what else would they think? He was drunk and erratic and known to be temperamental. Just be thankful they didn't accuse you of killing him. Yeah, lucky. She killed him, Joey, right in front of me. Us, kid. Us. I was there, too. He was opening up to me. I could have warned him. I, I could have helped him. It happened too fast. There wasn't anything either of us could do. It's not right. Newsflash, kid. The world's a rotten place. It doesn't have to be. We have to stop her, Joey. She can't kill anybody else. Look, darling, your aunt met that witch and barely survived. And no offense, doll, she had a stiffer spine than you. Maybe. But she didn't finish the job, did she? Not exactly, no. Then I have to finish what she started. Good night, Joey. I can't believe all that just happened. And I thought we totally would have been accused of the murder because we so went out the fire skit together. You, Rosangela. you are proving to be much stronger than your guide suspects. He thinks I'm stupid. Be wary of him. Follow your heart. Who are you? Shh. Sleep. Tomorrow you have a challenge to meet, and you must be fresh. You won't remember me, but we will meet soon. That lady still confuses me. I don't know if she's trying to help me or trying to hurt me. Good morning. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Yep. Yeah, let's go. All right. You ready to go? Hold. It's weird. I mean, that whole event. Why did the Countess do that? Michelle. She guess she wanted to help him, but really. Is he gonna be like ghost now? We gotta help and save. else is here? Hi. Mm-hmm. 
rotten day to be out, huh? I've seen worse. What brings you out here? None of your business. Pretty cool lighthouse, huh? If you say so. Nice mug. Uh-huh. What's written on it? Mind your own business. Nice mug. Uh, What's written? My Could I ask you a couple of questions? And who are you, may I ask? Rosangela Blackwell. Nice to meet you. Why do you want to talk to me? I'm curious about the lighthouse. What makes you think I know anything? I'm wondering if anything unusual happened here. Unusual like what? Just anything unusual. I've got nothing to say to you. Nice mug. Uh-huh. What's written on mine? Well... Uh-huh. Like I did not want to talk at all. Joey, maybe you can find out what's on the mug. Not even a twitch. The mug has a company logo on it. It says Gold Tech? No idea what that is. How does that do with anything? This was written on a mug by a man at the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. Not much of a leave, but I'll take what I can get. I don't even know why the hell we need that. But alright. That is there. Maybe we can talk about Claude and Josie. I'm sure she's like upset now. Hi, Josie. Rosangela, gosh, what a horrible night. Are you okay? I'm fine. Poor Claude, I had no idea what the show was doing to him. What do you mean? Well, he killed himself, didn't he? Oh, he grumbled a lot, but I thought deep down he liked the attention. Still, at least his work shall live on. You're keeping the gallery open? Of course. Everything here is completely sold out. Really? That painting behind you? Yesterday, I couldn't give it away. That's horrible. That's business, I'm afraid. I feel bad for Claude, but... Well, I have debts. I have investors to pay back. Lucky for you, he died. That's not fair. I've known Claude for years. I liked him a lot. He never felt his work would be seen by anybody, and now people believe his work has value. That's something, isn't it? If you think so. What will you do with the money? Well, a percentage of it will go to my investors. As for the rest, I don't know. I could sponsor another artist like Claude, or I could give it to charity. I need to think about it. I apologize, I'm, I skipped that little section earlier. My finger slipped and I clicked the mouse. Can I ask you some more? I don't think so, Rosangela. I'm meeting with the buyers today, and I have to get everything ready. Okay, you don't want to talk to me? Sure. Alright. I don't think Joe's... Huh. Why did she kill Claude? Definitely looks like the... But why is he neck like that? He's like, it appears in my dreams. Uh, you want to help? Uh, you want to help her? And since she helped you die, that is. Uh, well, sad case all around. Let's see. Maybe he heard about what happened to Claude. If he can tell us anything. Hi there. Sure. Well, uh, from what I know, he probably won't tell me anything. Yeah, actually, it's not even there. Have you? No. Okay. Let's. I guess I'm gonna, I'm gonna go to my house for yeah my place. Look up Gold Tech for a reason. I need to. Before I do that, I want to eavesdrop again. Cause I want to yes. figure out Hi. his name. Me again. Go right in. Or I want to figure out like the nickname he had. I heard you were at the gallery last night. Yes. And and you saw what happened. Yes. Wow. Just wow. What would possess a guy to do a thing like that, huh? I don't know. Well, enough doom and gloom. What can I help you with? It looks like the Park Gallery is going to be successful now. Yes, Josie certainly has had her work cut out for her. So do you. Her profits are your profits. Yes, there is that. And all it cost was one man's death. Now that's unfair. What do you expect us to do? Give back the money? We're a private foundation. Money has to come in in order for money to go out. Someone died. Doesn't that bother you? Sure, it bothers me. Death is a horrible thing. But I don't see what it has to do with us. Can't talk about gold tech. Oh. Can't talk more about the park gallery. Why weren't you at the opening last night? Oh, we would just be in the way, you know? Art's not really our thing. But Josie knows what she's doing. I would have thought they would have been there, but I guess that's there, really. 
maybe if I leave, Joey will s snoop in some more and maybe we can figure out what's going on. Well, thanks for talking to me. I might be back later. Sure thing. Drop on by anytime. How does she waddle like a duck? Oh yeah, she likes you. What are you talking about? Why do you think she keeps coming here? Give it a rest, Paul. Stay put, kid. I'm gonna snoop around. All right. Gotta figure out his name. Hey. What's wrong with the one we? Oh come on. <sighs> At least we have a real. These things can't do anything. Maybe. Charlie, is this wireless internet? Of course it. I just read it. Won't get. Then maybe give it a rest. Maybe I should mess around the internet. Maybe we'll eventually say his nickname. I've got no. Again, this wireless internet is really up and down today. It'll come up again. In a just stay here for a little bit. Maybe this will gauge a response from him. Nothing. I've got. What the heck? Probably one of the. Or is this something fun you can do until back? Finally, the What's that beam? You're impossible. <sighs> it's tennis fifty-three. Thanks, Emil. I've got man. It'll come up again. Finally. Hey, um, Charlie. Yeah, yeah. The password's tennis fifty-three. Oh damn it! What's your password? I've got no. Hey, my internet just went down. Stupid wireless. It should come up again. Finally. Hey, Charlie. Don't you remember anything? No way. Oh, how the hell am I supposed to figure this out? I can't stand this. What's the pro? I'm getting all sorts of spam. Just delete. Hmm. He's reading a book called Best Accountant Practices, 4th Edition. Sounds thrilling. Doesn't it bother you that any... Only if just don't... Yeah, that sounds... Great, reading a book like that. Hmm. He's so in. Must be losing. Hey, what? What's wrong with? Oh. It doesn't. Mm. I was thinking maybe the email, or maybe he'll write down his name somewhere in there. I don't hey, know. Charlie, is this? Of course. I it won't. Then give it a rest. <sighs> Freaking AI. Hmm. Maybe I'm going at this the wrong way. I have no idea. Modern. Art. I can't. What's the? I'm getting all sorts of just. I've got again. It'll come up. Okay. Hey, Charlie, did you turn on the AC? No, not me. Finally, the inter what's that beaming? You're a thanks. Hey, Charlie. No, doesn't it bother you that any only just don't? Ugh. Okay. I don't know. I can't think of it. Unless I'm doing something wrong, but I can't. I don't know what else. I could be doing. Oh well, let's go back to um, our house. Look up what gold tech is, because once again, I, for our reason, we need to know that. Look up the gold tech. There we go. The body of a man named John Goldwater was found by the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse. His father is reported to set, his father is reported to spend a lot of time to scene a time to scene, which I'm assuming is. Uh, guy we saw at the, at the lighthouse then. So, I guess there is another ghost we gotta look into. Murder is still at large. The search continues for a murder of John Goldwater, whose body was found by the Roosevelt Island Lighthouse early last week. John Goldwater was the chief researcher at Gold Tech, a local medical research facility. John leaves behind his father, Marty Goldwater, who often keeps vigil at the scene of the crime. Okay. That's something, then. Eh. I'll just put gold water to see if we find anything there. Okay. Hmm. It's that... But it's... Oh. Um. Maybe there's something in the, uh... In the emails I missed. Charming Widow. Oh, did I not look that up? I gotta look that up. 
Check my email, Charles. Mm -hmm. I can't think of any other name besides Charlie. Let's look up, see if that Google search comes up with uh, a widow. Okay. Or just type in widow, maybe. Okay. Alright, guys, this video went on for way too long, so I guess what I'm going to be doing is. Uh... Wait, actually, it was. We're, we're going to go back to that gold water, or go back to probably the scene, and see what, we're, what we can do there, because. I don't know. I don't, I'm sure. I don't even know why the hell it even means anything uh, uh, through all this, but uh, why the hell not? We'll just continue on. I mean, you know, with the story-wise, I mean, I guess it'll just all add up. I have no idea. In any case, as usual, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time for Let's Play Blackwell Convergence. I'll see you guys later.